All right, well, I dare to say we're just getting right into it then. So a double bill of punishments for my failures in weekly one-shots of late. First one up here is Toy Story. Blubber Abyss put this one in. Toy Story for the Super Nintendo. Never played it, never seen it. Let's just, well, let's see what options we can have. Sometimes they put difficulty when the options in these old games. Wait, is this really an options menu? Also, that's the wrong Super Nintendo controller for a PAL game. Y and B to jump, A and X to whip. Very simple. Okay. Oh, here's your difficulty settings. How many continues you can get. Well, I, I think we're going to... <laughs> we're not going full Yahoo. Give me as many lives as I can handle, please. Storyline can be on or off. I gotta say, these animations are quite good. Definitely gonna have the storyline on, right? No, please, please stop turning it off. Get me back to main menu. There we go. Alright, let's get into it. If you're somehow unfamiliar with it, when I fail one of my challenges, I have to do a punishment game, and Blubbery put this one forward. Our 186th one by my count. The 185th will be The Witcher, which follows after our fun times with this. Let's get that timer going. Today's Andy's birthday. We need to find out what present he's going to be given. Send the sergeant downstairs, his team of army men, see if he has any new toys. I did watch the Toy Story film a very long time ago. It was alright. Does this even follow on? Follow the plot of it? Sergeant Code Red, we need recon. Remove the lid and the bucket of soldiers, get the men out there, knock things down. Alright, sure. On the magic X etch a sketch. Open the bucket of soldiers, locate the baby monitor. Pass it down the sergeant troops. The Troys will meet you there. Watch out for planes and trains. Okay. Here we are. I mean, that's not great animation. God, that's a jaggedy looking woody we have here. There's our whip attack. We can whip up and down. Stiff. And extremely zoomed in. This is one of the big problems with early 90s uh, platformers. They were so zoomed in, you couldn't see, couldn't see what's coming. So that made the pacing very slow unless you memorized the levels. Oh, it was awful and it was so persistent. Okay, so things hurt us. We can jump on rubbery things. These are the buckets that I think I was told to open up. How do I open it up? I don't know. Tried whipping it. Whipping and jumping seems to be the all poor Woody can do. Can we... The control scheme isn't great. Can we... Do anything else? It's very unclear what can and cannot be jumped on as well. Hmm. Alright. Perhaps there is some kind of tool we can pick up to open up the bucket. So there was mention of a baby monitor after all. Ooh, those look like... Okay, I thought those would be pickups, but no, they're question balloons of death. What are those meant to be? Just little ball bearings? Whatever they are, Woody's not happy with them. Uh, what? <laughs> Why was... Why did that earn us a yee-haw? Uh, these things die? What year was this? Okay, that, it does hurt me though. What a cursed year was this? Let me think. Toy Story, the movie, 1994? That would line up. Three cats in the car says this brings back memories. They must be very bad memories then. Don't need to play this game for very long to immediately suss out that this is terrible. That said, 
some credit where credit's due. Look at the background. That is some surprisingly smooth Mode 7 that we see on the floor, and it does line up with the background. That said, they phoned in Woody here. Well, it was a Super Nintendo. They didn't have all that much to work with. How in God's name do I open this thing up? I only have two buttons, jump and whip. Why are there only two buttons? Was this originally planned for the NES? That wouldn't make any sense. Nineteen ninety-five, says the real decoy. Now, one year was a huge difference in games back then. Sadly, all we know today is stagnation. Games haven't really changed in over a decade. Except they just take longer and cost more money to make for some reason. Alright. So we do yeehaw from that. Am I meant to pick it up or whip it over? I just don't know. Can fat pig guy tell me anything? No. Okay. It's it's jumps like that in these super zoomed in platformer games that do my tat in. You just have to do a lot of blind jumping. I don't know if it was a design choice or just limitations of the day that they made all these games super zoomed in. Okay, just jump over to nothingness here. But they weren't all super zoomed in. Hell, the original Mario Brothers. It was about as zoomed out as it could get. Snake rattle and roll, zoomed out. Roadrunner in Death Valley, ultra zoomed in, horrible game. I played that of my own accord on stream even. What a mistake. Okay, even though we were explicitly told what to do, I don't understand what I'm doing. Well, I'm at least picking up some stars. Oh, whoa, who's this muscular chap? Is it the original Chad Thundercock? I'm guessing they wanted the characters to look nice and detailed for marketable screenshots. They didn't care what that meant for gameplay. Yeah, not caring about the gameplay is a staple for a movie tie-in game. But what in God's name do I do? Here's the bucket. I was told to lift the lid off this bucket. Jumping over it, jumping on it, whipping it. Start pauses, select does nothing, L and R do nothing. What do you want from me, game? Oh, oh. Okay, we got it now. Go, little army dudes. Why are some toys so hostile? What did Woody do? I remember the plot of the first Toy Story. So there were all the toys, and then Woody gets, uh, not Woody, uh, the, the kid, I don't know, let's call him Anderson. Anderson gets a new toy for his birthday, and it's the Buzz Lightyear thing. Does he, like, throw away some of his other toys going, oh, Buzz is all I need? But doesn't Buzz have this whole, I'm not a toy, I'm Buzz Lightyear, and then he tries to fly, but he can't fly to Let's say it was 1995. My memory of that's not going to be too hot. Also, spoilers for Toy Story, I guess. Now, go pick this thing up. If we could do that fast enough, it wouldn't even look like he's thrown out his wee whippy thing. 
Jealousy is the theme of that movie. The kid is done playing with Woody. I thought that was the plot of the second one. They did make a Toy Story 2, as I recall. Maybe they've made a third one. Don't know if I saw that, though. I'm quite liking Chad Thundercock the toy here, though. Look at him. Alright, so the little dudes have the thing. Now, I, uh, I don't know, do I use the other thing? Let's go, Woody. I've got places to be and people to kill. Don't spoil Toy Story for me, you'll never get this. And in Final Fantasy VII, Seraph kills Aerith. Right, men, move. File out Andy's room down the stations, baby monitor. All right, take cover, men, hiding in a large green plant. The troop watches Andy's party from a safe distance. Uh, okay. Sergeant signals them to turn on the baby monitor. Talk to, well, this is a whole lot of tell, don't show, isn't it? How does the game review well? Mother bird, this is alpha, bravo. I mean, this is gonna be made for kids that can't read yet, surely. Hmm, well, yes. not a lot of thought gets put into movie tie-in games. Help the other toys get to their places before Andy gets to his bedroom. Rex, Ham, and Robot need to get into the toy chest. RC car and Rocky need to go under the bed. Okay, toy chest and bed. We'll do it. Uh, okay. I'm on a timer now as well. Well, I can get in the toy chest. I'm guessing I need to do something to bring him over here. You fat pig thing. I'm gonna get this out of your way so that you can walk over here. Hopefully this thing doesn't count as being in your way as well. Oh, hang on, I need to, I need to get up and onto this thing. In you go! Amazing. Alright, I was told Robot needs off as well. Is he nudging that off? I'm not so sure he is. Okay, that's the bounciest softball. Let's get that out of the way. Let's trash Andy's home. Yay, I did it. Now there was something to do with a bed. Did Rex need in the toy box or the bed? Hmm. <laughs> I like that teetering animation though. Alright, well he got swallowed up whole there. Who's meant to go in the bed? Oh, I think it was race car. Now that I heard that ring. Oh, but here's Chad. Where do we put Chad to? Maybe I need Chad's help to move that stuff out of the way. Come on, Chad. Look at him muscles, he'll have this stuff out of the way in no time. We need to use this crane, perhaps? Okay, we've got the clearance. You're under the bed. Is Chad going under the bed? Do I go under the bed? <laughs> no, 
<laughs> nice little dance, Woody. <laughs> what a dumb game. How did I get under here? Must be an accident. And he's excited about his new toy. I better go take a look. No image here, huh? A lot of it's missing. I did look up a bit about this game before playing it, and I, I recall reading something about them. Uh, when they were making this game, they actually rendered their own shots for the game because they weren't confident they were going to get the material from Pixar ahead of time. Did Pixar make Toy Story? It's not a laser, it's a little light bulb that blinks. Gee, Woody sounds like laser envy. Let's settle this. Okay, keep up with Buzz. Show that you're just as good a toy as him. I don't know, I think I'd rather have Buzz Lightyear than little Woody myself. I don't think I had any Toy Story toys, though. Oh, okay, I got eaten by a plastic shark. Did that kill a life? Wow, it did, okay. Better not touch anything, that'll be the end of me. Ooh, easy now. This is so lame. So do we have any childhood stories from people that had this game? <laughs> Shut your mouth, Buzz. Because it really sounds like you've got parents or whoever that just don't love you. I suppose they just didn't know any better. Buzz. Oh, easy now. Oh, no. Uh, what the heck? Okay. I meant to do there? Well, die it seems. Huzzah, 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 and then just nothing. Am I meant to swing? Ah! Oh. oh. Infuriatingly, absurdly dumb. Well, Woody, while you did keep up with me, you know I could fly around this room with my eyes closed. All right, let's see you at it there, Buzz, to infinity and beyond. Woody can't believe it. He actually sails through. Okay, I don't remember how this went in the movie whatsoever. I remember him using his wings to cut a rope that tied them up. Now all the toys think Buzz can fly. Hmm, in a couple of days, everything will be just the way it was. Didn't Woody have a thing going on with the, uh, the, the, the lassie with the huge ass and the umbrella? Why did Andy have a toy like that? While you're sleeping, you have a bad dream. Oh, okay. Little Bo Peep. Yeah, why did Andy have a Little Bo Peep doll? You don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off. Take that! Ow. What? Take that. I must have missed this part of the movie. Here 
it comes. Gosh, this is fever dream territory right here. You don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off. Take that! I don't want to be here now. Take that! Take that! Here it comes. Take that! Right, so I think I need to shoot the wee jammy dodgers off of him. Here it comes. With the questionable hitboxes going on here. Take that! Here it comes. Take that! Here it comes. Ow! Take that! Here it comes. That is quite nice of him to tell me that it's coming, though. Alright, so I, I got rid of all of his wee biscuity things. Here it comes. Ow. He's still shooting me though. What am I meant to do? Here it comes. Ooh. Oh, okay. Here it comes. Ooh. Ooh. We're on to a winner then. Oh no! in the way when my laser goes off. Take that! Take that! I don't think it like that. Here it comes! Take that! Take that! Take that! Here it comes! Take that! Yeah, if I had to if I had to make an assumption I took collision damage Here in that comes. last encounter and the game was not too happy with that. some bad games around here. I guess I should be grateful to continue that I picked up. I can imagine this is the kind of game that puts you right the way back to square one when you lose all your lives. The days pass, Woody finds he is no longer the favorite toy. The last boxes are packed so the family can move to a new home. Dinner at Pizza Planet. Mm. Oh, don't they find those weird alien things there? And he will take Buzz unless I can hide him. And he has to take me instead. Okay, wow, Woody's a bit of a jackass. Use the RC car, knock Buzz behind the desk. Okay. Oh, I do not like how zoomed in we are here. This is... Uh, not Uniriders, but what, what was that awful... Oh, do I have to hit Buzz? Yeah, get out of here, Buzz. What was I meant to pick up to, to gain extra battery power? I'm sure it would show quite obviously what I need to pick up. Oh, no, no, me. <laughs> Woody doesn't look too happy. All right, well, let's let's actually read this. What am I meant to pick up to keep the thing going? Bump the car into Buzz. Da 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 da. 
Keep the car going by collecting all the power cells that Buzz drops. Okay, I didn't notice them drop any, but that's not saying much. Yeah, there was a god-awful Super Nintendo game that was kind of similar to just this. And what's even weirder is some people like it. All right, oh, I saw, him, I saw something fly out, and there we go, that's what I need. This... I, uh, I have a hard time describing how this handles. It's the kind of situation where I just say it handles like ass. It's like I'm on buttered ice here, and my the inputs that I'm giving aren't necessarily what the car is doing. Wow, this is awful. Okay. And of course, there's no point going fast because you can't see anything. How how did nobody in the 90s just stand up and say, uh, "Actually, this is terrible." Having a game about moving fast where you can't see anything that's coming is just bad. Well, then again, people are still gobbling down Sonic to this day. Sonic's just terrible. Yeah, I was trying not to go there, my groin. All right, now, now I can put the, put the pedal down, but oh, no, I need to make a, a turn. I need that battery buzz, I'm running dry. Most objects break, but batteries die. I wanted an RC car as a kid, I didn't get one though. Got plenty of Lego though, I can't complain too much. Also I had my uh, my older brother's hand-me-down toy trains, which was pretty cool. Alright, there we go. It's the end of you, Buzz. <laughs> Stupid face. <laughs> okay, I, I am happy though with the, the little woody dance and him punching the floor while trying to knock buzz behind the cupboard woody sends him out of the window his jealousy knows no bounds woody the toys are really mad at you for what you've done to buzz personally i don't know okay well thanks i don't even know who's talking to me here there he is with rex let's go get him Remove the blocks and free Rex. Avoid all the angry toys. Well, I'd love to, but there appears to be a bucket in the way. Sneak my boots. So, do I just jump? For the heck of it. Whee! Well, I'm glad the blind jump worked out. But. Ow. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping to get some childhood stories about people's experience with this game, but I'm not seeing any. How disappointing. Somebody must have gotten this game and been deeply unhappy. Yeah, I was playing good games. Secret of Mana and Secret of Evermore. I did have Krusty's Super Fun House, though. That game was gash. I'm from a family of gamers, though. We had a lot of games. Alright, I cannot seem to get the elevation that I need. I told you, I was quite happy because I was a dumb kid, says three cats. Just a kid. Can I even get some elevation? There we go. I 
I got it in a cereal box. The cereal was nice. Yeah, once upon a time you used to get demo discs and CDs and whatnot in your cereal boxes. I doubt that's a practice that carries on to this day. But at the time it was pretty cool. These days I'd be deeply suspicious of any data disc or similar that I find on a uh, in a cereal box. Also, I think I just murdered Tatty Head. Woody's a monster. These are all his friends. Well, I guess if I realized I was stuck in a game like this, I would turn into a monster too. Tired of going up and around, they just give me the pass there. He treats them just like you treat your allies, to be fair. Yeah, but Woody's not me, and I'm not Woody. Tis not a fair comparison. Arisen. Okay, Woody's on his last wee legs. Oh no, there's no way I could stand up to Chad Thundercock. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Do our little Woody dance. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, how I hate confrontations. I don't know what to make of all this. You helped me through the bedroom. Hop on, let's get out of here. Thanks, Rex. Glad you got my back. Oh. Woody's the sheriff. He finally decided to lay down the law. <laughs> You're a to Oh, golly gosh. Oh, okay. So they're going to attack from behind as well, and one hit ends us. So we want to stay in the center and just have lightning reactions. This is like playing R- oh, okay. This reminds me greatly of uh, R-Type. And sometimes in R-Type you just get enemies spawning right behind you, and in R-Type it's one-hit kills. R-Type really freaking sucks. I was actually re-watching a glorious VOD. It feels like an Aeon ago, but when we had the, uh, the Wheel of One shots, we had a lot of different contributions for people who put in challenges for it. And Lucky put forward, I believe, five challenges. And now I thought Lucky's challenges were pretty difficult, but fortunately I didn't roll any of them. But Lucky decided to do his own challenges on stream at some point, and uh, how did he do? Anybody want to get take a guess, out of five, how many of Lucky's own challenges was he able to beat? Bearing in mind, these are challenges he gave me to do, and uh, unlike him, when I do my challenges, I got punishments on the line. Well, that's right, Luminarius Aether. He did zero of them. Not a single bloody one could that Canadian soy individual handle. Freaking lucky. But one of them was our type and seeing him die constantly there was great. Seeing him get shot down on pilot wings was even better. He's like, oh no, there's pilot wings. This is an easy one. Bang! Shot clean out the sky. Boz, I'm so glad you're alright. We don't practice revenge on my planet, but we're not on my planet. <laughs> I really don't remember this from the movie. Oh, okay. Stay out of Buzz's way. Try and tire him out. Yes, of course. Double Dragon as well was one of them? How, how did that one go? Yeah, Double Dragon, defeat the level with the, the freaking wall in it. Uh, to this day, I do not know how you're... Okay. To this day, I do not know how you're meant to defeat that Double Dragon level with the wall. 
Is he tired yet? Wait, what? Well, well, okay. Did I die there? I wasn't anywhere near him. Rushing through worked for me. Yeah, I've certainly tried rushing through and I've died rushing through. Faking me out. Maybe I meant to hit him with this. Watch out. Watch out. What purpose does this thing serve? Mission objective was simply to avoid him. I can't crouch and move at the same time. All I can do is... Oh, You're despicable. Watch out. <laughs> His power walking animation is quite funny, though. Watch out. Still not really getting a clear motive from Woody here. Well, Woody wants to be the Do best, it, most important person. And Buzz comes along and threatens that, so Woody's obvious response is violence. Okay, he looks pretty tuckered out now. Oh, I think I meant to hit him when he's tuckered out. That's my best guess. He does have his health meter after all. Wait, what, what? Okay. I somehow died again. There was no mention of having to do any of this. It was just wait for him to tire out, not mercilessly slaughter your new friend, Buzz. Watch out. Ooh. Am I meant to be hitting him? Is that doing damage? Ah, but you see, this is the PAL release of the game, and we don't spell tire like that. Tire is spelt with a Y in the King's English. T Y R E. These hitboxes are ridiculous. I guess it's not the most ridiculous thing in this game, is it? Watch out. Okay, that appeared to do the damage, though. He's down to only three Saturns. Getting him. <laughs> Watch out. To Ooh. infinity and beyond. Which, of course, making it a great punishment game. As I often say, a good punishment game is either punishing to play, punishing to watch, or extremely difficult. 
Now I can seldom speak of whether or not a game is punishing to watch, but I can tell you that this is very punishing to play. As for its difficulty, it is pretty difficult, but for all the wrong reasons. The sheer lack of any camera coverage makes it very difficult to maneuver. The hitboxes and hurtboxes are extremely misleading. And you're quite committed to your actions here. Which often works pretty poorly for an action platformer. Depends how long we're stuck here for if it's hard to watch. Two hours. And I'm on my last life of my last continue. I mean, in what world did he hit me there? That's gotta be my favorite Woody animation. Even better than this wee dance. Okay, well, that was so much fun. Let's start again. All over from the start. Wait, password? Ooh, has the game told us any passwords? all the way up to five, huh? I don't remember there being any passwords. What was the password that got us up to buzz there? I really don't want to do any of those levels again. It's been telling you the whole time. Okay, I wasn't paying any attention to that, clearly. Hmm. I get the feeling 111... 111 is just the very first level. Rejected! I remember the third level password was 253124 or something. 253124. Reject it. Where has it been telling me my passwords? Well, hold your horses. Yeah, passwords are easier than a save system. It means you don't need to put batteries inside your game either. Batteries that will eventually run out and die. Toy. Story. SNES. Passwords. Uh, the Genesis ones are probably different, huh? 31241, yeah, for one that's only five characters, isn't it? Two five one three two four. Two five one three two four. Two five one three two four. Oh, that's just one off of red twos. Two, five, one, three, two, four. I would have just looked at my old vault, Marvin. Don't sweat it. Except it, I knew it would be. Is this actually going to take me to the buzz fight? I didn't use Steam Guide on the one shot. What are you talking about, Resty? Oh god, this is just driving over buzz again. As fun as it was driving over Buzz, this is absolutely not what I want to do. Because it wasn't fun at all. Uh, uh, ah, crumbs. I don't even know which level we'd even call it. Snares. How? Why is there no just easy list of things here? Even GameFAX is letting me down.
Mm. Okay, I'm being told to suffer through it like I did all those years ago from Anohito. So, all right, let's do it then. It's unthinkable that they'd only have one of these driving levels. They clearly put so much love into it. Somehow it handles even worse than the Earthworm Gym underwater segments. I suppose it's actually a little unfair to say that the Earthworm Gym underwater level segments handled badly. They handled just fine. They were brutally difficult, though. For similar reasons that this game is horrible, and that's incredibly zo I'm stuck here. I can't actually turn out of- oh, oh, maybe, maybe! I just needed a good bounce. Alright, but I have a- oh, oh, buzz, buzz, I need that battery. There we go. You see the way it's twitching so much when it tries to turn. Gib. Alright, that was clean. I'm gonna have to look up a speedrun of this game once all is said and done. I wanna see just how badly this game can be brutalized by people that know life at Micro Machines, thank you. That's the god awful racing game this reminds me of. Uh, Micro Machines is so bad, I cannot understand people that think it's good. Legitimate brain damage issues, that must be. You can make precisely zero informed decisions in Micro Machines. Because all the maps play out like this, no warning about anything that's happening. There are like three good racing games overall, says Resty. I I'm obviously assuming that Star Wars Pod Racer is one. Oh my god, please, game! Okay, good. Killed Buzz in the nick of time. Not liking my lack of continues, but I'm loving that wee Woody dance. Now, where are those passwords? And now I have to help Rex, right? I'm not seeing any passwords. People must be pulling my proverbial leg. Pod racer, need for speed underground and burnout revenge. Well, that doesn't make any sense. There's no room for uh, burnout paradise there. Burnout paradise is some peak racing. Because the game understands that racing is garbage, so it puts in things that aren't racing. Like creative destruction whilst listening to Avril Lavigne. That's all we really want out of our racing games. Ow. Let's go, Rex. The whole thing about Rex that he was a scaredy cat. Let's go kill Mr. Potato Head again. What a monster he is. I'm having a hard time getting over how anyone could be friends with this guy. Incredibly self absorbed, so cruel to his own friends. Can't be happy for uh, for making a new friend. He only sees competition in Mr. Lightyear. Oh, 
I'm actually pretty motivated to pick up all the stars because having to restart is not a fun proposition. Don't want to put my life at risk for them though. Uh, get off of him, Chad. Rex is my buddy. Yes, yes, doesn't like confrontations. Magical exosketch. Am I, are there seriously passwords that I'm somehow not noticing? That's not unthinkable. Turbo Tunnels handled this better. At least Turbo Tunnels gave you a bit of view for what was coming. Then again, I really like the Turbo Tunnels, so of course I'm biased. I also freaking one-shot the Turbo Tunnels during my Battletoads punishment game. That's an unfair comparison. After all, I'm really good. I guess maybe maybe Woody ain't all that wrong. He's lived with all these other toy friends for so long, and then one slight from Woody, and they're all trying to kill him. I don't. I don't think there's a lot of happiness and prosperity in Toyland if they're this on the edge. <laughs> One slight, he did murder Buzz. <laughs> okay, next up, Pizza Planet. I'm glad you're safe. Revenge, no passwords though. Still no passwords. Try and tire him out. Mm, making creativity fun. Did I have an extra sketch? I feel like I had some kind of budget extra sketch, the kind of one that you get in a cereal packet. All right. No, oh, well, we're off to terrible stuff. You might as well just kill me, Buzz. There's no way I'm getting through this in one go. Uh, then again, I'm loath to throw anything on this channel. Besides, he's going to hit me with his, one of his brutal hitboxes anyway. Look at that, not even touching me and it says I died. I think they're just drawing one giant square around him and calling it a day. Even though he's making a bit of a T-shaped animation. Ridiculous game. Oh, to infinity and beyond. Come on, come on. Oh. I do like his little hustle run there, though. Like he's playing British Bulldogs. Watch out. Come on, Tyre. Let's tire him out. Hey. Seems like an awfully low jump out of you there, Buzz. Please go away. No! Nah. <laughs> it's 
down to the wire. Oh! <laughs> did he... Did he not announce his, his charge there? Come on, Buzz. Maybe I was talking over him. Never talk over your enemy when they make a mistake. Buzz! There we go. Ups the daisy. What if we got a voice actor for that? now. I can even get under your obscene hitbox sometimes. See, I am better than all those 90s kids. Yeah, this tiny little toy tire is likely off of the RC car that we smashed buzz over here with. Come on, move! <sighs> Actually, moving this thing forward is tricky. There we go. Get him! <laughs> the more times he does his little dancing parade there, the more likely I am to be hit by his brutal hurt boxes. Get him! Get him! There we go. Now finish the job, Woody! Was that just an extra life, or was that a continue? Oh, hey, there's the password! 421553. I write this down all over my Avorion notes. 421553. Especially the note that says I need 28 noble metal mines. I thought that was my score! I just saw this blurb at the top and assumed that it was counting up my glorious score. Mm -hmm. Woody and Buzz arrive at the Pizza Planet. How do we get inside? There's a mega gulp cup on his head. I like the way you th Okay, so they became instant buddies. Did they have this fighting scene in the movie where they slugged it out with tires and whatnot? Try and cross Pizza, play, uh, pizza Planet, avoiding the falling food and drink. Watch out for Buzz bumping. <sighs> bumping into you. Look for kids running after their paper play. Okay. Well, they definitely wanted to phone in the animation here. God, I could go for some burger and fries. Not a hot dog, though. Never been a big fan. Ooh. Arcade games. Some ridiculously 
budget animation stuff going on here. They clearly put all of their effort into animating Woody and Buzz and a few of the other toys. It was probably part of the uh, agreement. What? <laughs> the hell were those legs coming in? I guess the paper planes are there to warn you that the kids are going to chase after them. Maybe what you do is you do this and you'll be invincible. Felt pretty invincible there. Can I do that again? Maybe I shouldn't try it with the food, I should try it with their legs. Those tiny little footsteps cracking me up. Sadly, we can't recollect all of the stars. Once they're gone, they're gone. What an awesome looking place, right? Cheap crap food, loads of arcade machines. This must be a Chuck E. Cheese, right? I have been to, I think, one Chuck E. Cheese ever. And they had a really impressive array of arcade games, a whole floor full of them. And this was in 2017. Not exactly the heyday of arcades. All right, so that happens and then we just, yeah, there we go. Got you now, game. I know all of your moves. They had a DDR Ace machine at this particular Chuck E. Cheese, so I was delighted. Yeah, the legs, they do look horrifically phoned in, as do many aspects of this game, most notably the gameplay. I mean, there's barely much of a game here to begin with. game seems to be a lot of the starting and stopping, come to think of it. A lot of starting and stopping with the RC car, with the, <coughs> with the fights, with having to make those blind jumps in the more platforming heavy levels. Oh, easy now. That was a trap. I certainly do feel blessed, Fox Tattoo. This is my allergies for terrible games acting up. Uh, Woody looks for Andy. Buzz spots a claw machine. He mistakes a spaceship. I can take him back to Sector 4. He jumps in. Okay. We're going to get a claw game? I could go for that. Take me back to Kirby for the NES. Give me this minute amount of reading is making me yawn. Try and find Buzz, who's disappeared into the depths of the claw machine. Oh, I was really hoping for some claw game mechanics. Clearly, I'd be asking too much. Oh no, if it's anything like the previous level with the piggy, yep, yeah, money hurts. Well, this is weird. A little bit like the snakes from um, from Battletoads, because they move around, and now you gotta dodge them, and then oh, dearie me! So I want to wait until it's going back in, and then we hop on here very temporarily, and then out and up. Pattern recognition.
Easy money. Oh, yeah, of course, all those propellers that they have inside slot machines. Uh, not slot machines, this is a crane game. Does that hurt? Yeah, it hurts. Everything hurts, doesn't it, Woody? Ugh. And back to the start we go. Truly a fated punishment, Jake, when the game involves money hurting you. It's okay, it's American money. It's a fairly complex set of movements that you have to make here. All the more surprised that this is evidently a kid's game. Or maybe I'm just trying to make myself feel better about my performance in this. Really wish I wasn't here right now. Right, you are gonna blow, and we just avoid that. Would hate to melt our woody on that. You gonna pop? Yep. You gonna pop? Yep. You? Yep. Everything's blowing here, Woods. So I was meant to just run through all these. Whee! Oh boy. Oh, what's this? Secret passageway? You don't see those so much in games anymore. Just walls that are indistinguishable from all the others, but you can actually go through them. Probably because they're awful. Who doesn't remember fondly the Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest? Kneel your head against the... Oh man, how did it go? I think it was in the church, Holy Water the Walls, to get down to the secret basement. How do you know to throw the holy water there? You don't. And the floor is just indistinguishable from any other. game. Ooh, easy now. Woody's on his last legs. Good thing there's no fall damage here. Oh, but there is slightly touch against a fan damage. Oh yeah, but Mal uh, Lamulana is quite uh, dedicated to old-style game design ideas, for better or for worse, but entirely for the worse. I like Lamulana, but I don't ever want to play Lamulana again. It was really bad. <laughs> the music's amazing, though, and I like the visuals for it as well. But as a game, it's just horrible. Not as horrible as this, though. Now, this is really quite terrible. Up, and as you come down, up I go. Soundtrack is so good, says Fishlips. It carries the whole thing. Yeah, it carries the casket. Here are all these one-way doors, but you need to use an item to get through, and you need to constantly buy more of the item in order to go through in a game that's all about being a ginormous maze. Gosh, that was fun. Did I make it? Yeah! <laughs> do the dance, Woody! Do the dance! 
Ooh, visitor from outside will be rewarded with the claw. Now do I get my claw minigame? Rescue all the aliens. Why? The quicker you do the level, the more stars you get at the end. Ooh. Oh, oh now we're Jurassic Park. I've played a fair few claw games. I don't remember any of them looking like this. Okay, this handle's about as good as that awful shadow game did. What? Can I carry multiple of them? Or can I only carry one at a time? Looks like it's a one at a time job. Alright, where do we drop them off? Take them. No, not System Shock. Shadow Cop? Super Cop? Ultra Cop? It was a punishment game, one of the first games I played in 2023. Hello! So much for getting this done quickly. What do we even do with this? Bloody thing. I, maybe I bring you over here? Okay, right. It all makes sense now. I'm not getting my stars out of this thing then. It's easy to get caught in the corners here. You cannot strafe. Maybe I should count my blessings. Witcher comes after this. Every chance Witcher's gonna be even worse. Looking forward to all the polls in chat having a meltdown at the thought of Witcher being worse than this. Right, spark a lot. Witcher has yet to come. Come on, I don't think I'm gonna make this. Would have easily made it if the game had the decency to tell me what I was meant to do. Hello. Clearly asking too much from a 1995 game. 95 was quite late in the Super Nintendo life system. Does it just fail at zero? Okay, the real question. Do I have to get all four or five of them again? Yep! Alright. Strap yourselves in, deputies. Hello? Getting a little too involved, I think. Hello. Cyber Cop. That was the horrible game. My first game of 2023. Well, when I do my tier list for 2024, Hello. I can't imagine Toy Story for the Super Nintendo rating very high. But nothing will be more fun than placing games below it. In retrospect, I think I rated Mortuary Assistant too high and amazing, but at the time I was amazed by it. I haven't come back to the game. I haven't even looked up the other endings. I don't particularly want to play it anymore, though. Witcher 1 has a lot of good things. Really well resty. 
I hope you're going to be around during it so we can have that explicit list from you whilst we experience it. parallels to this game. All right, there you go. That better be the last year. Still no continues though. That's perturbing. Thank you, stranger, for your help. We'll take you to the claw. But wasn't it some other kid that won? Try and stop. C yeah, yeah. I think it was Sid that was trying to win Buzz and Woody. Keep Buzz safe. Until he's used all his coins up, okay. But how do I keep him safe? Well, the claw hurts. And my whip is just whipping up these little alien things. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Keep him safe, how? Can't whip the claw. All I can do is whip these little, little, oh, oh, perhaps that's it. We get them up and then we can juggle them, right? There we go. So you got a neutral, neutral it in the air and then upper it into the crane. So back in the day, my buddies and I, we'd go, oi, 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 said no! <laughs> It was a Toby's Carvery, not too far away from where me and my buddies stayed. And occasionally we would go out for a Carvery. And at the Carvery, there was a crane game. And the crane game was full of angry birds. Like how, many, how many times do I have to hit this freaking thing? There we go. And whenever we went out for a carvery, I would throw a quid in and try my hand at winning an Angry Bird. I actually ended up with quite the collection. I like to think that wasn't because we were going to the carvery every other day, but just because I was immensely skilled at doing the claw gaming. Are we meant to know what a carvery is? Yes. Boy, I don't know any crane games that let you pull that maneuver. You get one movement to the side and then one movement up and you- Oi, no! <laughs> How? You can't stop him from picking up Buzz and then you have this minuscule time to bring it back, and if you haven't got this guy whipped out in the right spot at the right time, your goose is cooked. Look at that, even though, even though I whopped it, I gotta wait until it- No! Not that way either! <laughs> Christ almighty. It's a horrible experience, by the way. Not sure if it's immediately obvious how horrible this is. Oh, come now.
It was an old philosophy of being hard to make you spend more coins at the arcade. It got taken home to home consoles for a while. I am well aware. <laughs> Freaking. Yeah, me too, Woody, me too. Oh well, back to the very start. Hmm. The only password I have doesn't take me that far into the game. 52, 15, 53. What did I say? 42, 15, 53. Of course, I'm not playing an actual hardware zombie ant, could you imagine? Actually going and buying this piece of ass? Oh well, let's make our way through uh, not Chuck E. Cheese's again. How's that timer looking? Okay, only 40 more minutes of this. And then we get to enter the ever-evolving world of Witcher. Oh, I could go for a burger and fries. Damn, and Darius and his cheat day postings. Oh, we gotta do the first person segment in the claw. Oh, we gotta do the platforming in the claw machine as well. I don't think even Childhood Jake could have enjoyed this. My standards are too high. Let's see, it's 1995. What games have I played? Well, Secret of Mana, which at the time I thought was surely the best gaming could get. I actually still enjoyed the game on a replay. I ran Secret of Mana as a weekly one-shot some time ago. Thank you, MS Paint Legs. Secret of Evermore as well. Draken. Swords and Serpents. Battletoads and Super Battletoads. Theme Park. Dungeon... Oh, oh, hang on. 1995. Is that Dungeon Keeper or was Dungeon Keeper... No, Dungeon Keeper must have been later. 98, maybe? Still. Even in 1995. Five, my standards would have been too high for this garbage. Dungeon Keeper was 98, I think, says Pandy. Was I right in hearing that Dungeon Keeper released on Steam the other day? Great game, but I uh, wouldn't recommend buying it there. It's been on GOG for ages, and not to mention if you buy it now, you're just giving that money to Electronic Arts. Sincerely doubt Molyneux's team are seeing any royalties out of Dungeon Keeper these days. EA did a release of a lot of old games on Steam. How about that? Well, Ninja, that's just the fate of these old games, lest we forget that... Sawyer, in his infinite wisdom, gave the rights to Atari for Roller Coaster Tycoon and his other tycoon games. So, of course, those are being horrifically pimped on mobile. I gave Dungeon Keeper Mobile a chance. I got it. I played it. I played it for a few days, in fact. And it had everything wrong with games. It was horrible. Every moment it could, it was egging you on to spend your gems to complete actions faster because the cooldowns were uh, 24 hours or more just for digging out tiles to make your dungeon in. The reason I gave it a go was because I heard how bad it was and I thought this must be an exaggeration, right? So people just want to people just want to egg on something they don't like, so they're exaggerating how bad this is. But not me, I will play it so I have an informed opinion. Well, my informed opinion was that all the people laying into the game didn't go far enough. It was just terrible. I can't believe people are... Yeah, they're not making these games 
unless people are actually spending money on them. So my disgust isn't at the people developing it. It's at the people paying and playing. It's like that line in V for Vendetta. Certainly there are some people more at blame than others and they shall be held accountable. But you need only look in the mirror! Terrible what St. Mary's did for the Irish. Alright, could we please at least checkpoint? No, no we can't because that blisteringly hot uh, fuse decided to blow on me. Gotta be the most miserable game I've played in quite some time. And I play a lot of misery. Okay, though, we can get our lost life back just like that. I was hoping to get to that, um, get to that checkpoint before I lost my woody, but I guess we're doing okay. Three health left. If I'm not mistaken, health is persisting between levels, which is a bit brutal. This to the list of games I'd be interested to see a no-hit run in. Ah, <laughs> blindsided. Don't worry, Jake. Frostpunk 2 is coming out this summer to put you out of your misery. I don't think it's unfortunate it comes out in summer. I seem to recall playing Frostpunk 1 in summer. And I rather like the juxtaposed blistering heat compared to the icy demeanor of the game. Fake out the blowout. Fake out the other blowout. No, maybe. There we go. Oh, we still get hit. Now my worry for Frostpunk 2 is that it's going to be pretty bad. And there is another game on the horizon though. Paradox are working on uh, a new game. Or as much as we're being led to believe. There are dev diaries now coming out of Tinto. Exciting stuff. Not that Paradox releases have been uh, all that stellar lately. What have we had? Victoria 3, Imperator. Go, buddy, go! I'll just nail it. Still not getting myself another... Well, not another password and not another... Oh, well. Oh, oh, oh wait, I've got a brilliant idea. Well, I've got an idea. Maybe not a brilliant one. I'm just going to make a save. You know, my version of Toy Story has a save anywhere button. So I think I'll use that at the start of that infuriating crane level.
One of the most egregious ones for me was that Star Trek mod for Stellaris they released for actual money. So I saw that on Steam. I wasn't aware of it um, being developed by Paradox. Was it developed by Paradox though? Something tells me it wasn't. Maybe I can't talk too much about that. I do still sit on some inside knowledge on Paradox that I'm verboten from talking about. Um, anyway, I saw that and I actually initially thought, ooh, wow, finally a, a grand strategy game about Star Trek that isn't from the 90s. That could be interesting. I'm not big on Star Trek, but if it was well enough made, surely that'd be good. But then, only after... You, you have to look pretty deep into the store page to realize, oh, it's just a mod for Stellaris that costs money. And get how that comes across as egregious. Yeah, Paradox has always been a greedy company. They want your money. It's just these days they've been making quite a lot of withdrawals from the bank of uh, customer satisfaction. Build up a good rep with your consumers, but make those withdrawals for the easy money. Quite a brain drain and paradox. I've been hearing from quite a few of my old colleagues who have left either to work at other places or strike it out alone. And good on them, but kind of sad, right? I put five of my best years in paradox. All right, all right. Uh, don't blink now. Let's just you know make a make a little. Little save here, so that we get to play loads of times here on the claw game. Goodwill is just a number. Spend it or it's worthless, says GPIC. That is not true. Goodwill is more like guts built up in Monster Rancher. Yeah, you can spend it to make your moves, but having high guts actually improves your ability in a fight. By now, I've streamed just about every game that I've ever played in the past on uh, on this channel. However, there do still remain... Oi! There we go. There do still remain some games from Childhood Jake that I have not yet streamed, and one of them is actually Monster Rancher. Never watched the show. If there was a manga, I never read that either. But I was interested in the game, because it seemed like, you know, you, you get your discount Pokemon to raise. You can yell at the thing enough, but it's not going to poop like they did in... Oh, what was that game where you yell at your monsters until they poop? No! Oh, come on! Damn it, Sid, no! Don't do that to me. Digimon World, that's the one. But yeah, Monster Rancher... I, uh, I played Monster Rancher... At, I think, a, a place called Fun Spot in America. Because the game didn't release in Europe. And I was enamored by it. I think I was there playing for six hours. Parents obviously wanted some actual time away from the kids while on vacation. So they dropped me and my brother off at Fun Spot. Which was a pretty good deal. I think you pay six or five or ten bucks and you get to... Uh, okay. Game, I... I hit you. Entirely hit you there. This level is such a little crock. So yeah, I found Monster Rancher there, because they had uh, PlayStation 2s and Xboxes and Gamescubes rigged up with different games. You couldn't change out the game, but uh, they were there. And I was so enamored with that game, I remember... I think it was my birthday following that. I was like, could could we could we get this game? But uh, but alas, it was USA only or USA Japan only. Didn't release in Europe. Which yeah, back in the day used to be a big concern if you wanted to play a game. It's like oh, too bad you're never allowed to because it didn't release out here. Some consoles were absolutely blessed by not having region locking like the. Nintendo DS, but most did have region locking. 
Back then, even DVDs were region locked. I don't know if that's still the case today, but... Anyway, region locking sucked, and if you were in the PAL region, you generally got the worst of it. I just hit the... Gib! However, the story doesn't end sadly there. My uncle, my actual uncle, we're not talking Brelix uncle here. My uncle knew how to, uh, to chip consoles. Ah, this is such a god-awful freaking level. So it's, it's my birthday, I come home from school, and there, I forget if my uncle was there, if it was just dad, but... There they are with this chipped PlayStation 2, able to run Monster Rancher. Not only that, could also run any pirated game, although I never bothered with that. I had no problem buying my games, and on top of that, they never ran quite right if they were uh, just burnt onto a disc. Did your uncle know how to beat the claw level? I doubt it. But that was a pretty pretty nice moment because I, from that point on, I was actually able to play region locked games. This is ridiculous. A horrible, horrible level. Yeah, no, sadly my uncle did not work at Nintendo. It'd be a long commute. I don't recall taking that much advantage of having a region-free PlayStation 2. However, there were some games that I was really happy to get my hands on. Uh, I forget if I needed the region-free PS2 to run uh, In the Groove. That was a rare game, but I've got it. The reason it's rare is because Rockstar lost the uh, court case against Konami. So you didn't see any more in the groove after that. But I got RPG Maker 2 for the PlayStation 2. I actually made some short, crappy RPG games on that, just for the hell of it. Seemed like fun. That was pure torture, by the way, if you did not own a keyboard. You need a USB keyboard. To plug into the PlayStation 2, and I don't think all of them worked with it, and uh, of course back then a lot of keyboards had, and this is where it gets confusing, they had a connection called PS2, which was not PlayStation 2. Yeah, you'd, you'd plug in your mouse and keyboard to your PC via PS2 connection. Some other oldies might have to correct me if I'm wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it went. Yeah, that's right, PS2 port. Thank you for telling me what I already know, which is that I'm absolutely correct. Leave my buddy Buzz alone! That's so freaking lame, you hit him, but it's... You gotta hit him after he's being dragged away. Oh lordy, are we looking at a new mod game here? We might be. We might be. It's been a long time since I've added a game to the mods list. But I think this is going to be added. It's just so bleeding miserable a game to play. And it's very accessible. I'm not going to hear from anybody who's like, Oh, I'm not buying this game just to run it. I'm going to have to buy this. Then again, the Jungle Book was on the mod list for a long time, and nobody ever touched that. God knows why. What a charming game it was. Leave my buddy Buzz alone. Yet, mod games usually get added because I want to see a game beaten to a high standard. Not because I want whoever runs it to have a miserable time. Take, um, The, the Journey of Ray Baba. What was that game actually called again? The the Texter Sist. Right, we're getting really desperate. I'm actually going to make my save here as well. 
Sure, that game was kinda hard, but it was more I just really wanted to see it beaten well. And we didn't just see it beaten well once, we saw it beaten well twice. Some loser beat it, but uh, somebody else beat it better. And that someone else was Jagger, who has since sadly departed from the community. But it was still an excellent race to see. There we go. Leave my buddy Buzz alone. Hang on, is that one final coin that he still has to spend? Uh, maybe. Yeah, not on my watch. What is the mod list, says Ritsujin. So you might notice we don't have a ton of mods around here, but those that we do have earn their swords by completing a mod challenge. It's a list of challenges that I have made, and if you beat one of them, you get a sword. And if you beat it to a very high standard, you then crush the challenge so that nobody else can do it. Yeah, back in the day, the only way to get a mod sword was to beat Typing of the Dead on stream, but these days there are so many more games, although many of them have now been crushed. And that's how you get your sword on. You could literally have Hitler come in and say, yeah, I've actually been hiding out in South America for 60 years, but I'm a big fan of the channel. Thanks a lot. Hope you run some more Hearts of Iron 4. By the way, I'm here to uh, Anschluss myself a sword, so I'm going to do your, uh, your mod challenge. And... Uh, if Der Führer manages to do it, Der Führer gets the sword. Although, wouldn't he be like a hundred years old by now? Seems unplausible. Maybe if Paul Pot came in and did it. I don't know, Jake. 30 mods seems like a lot. 30? Okay, but a lot have come and gone. And many of them just uh, lurk anyway. Make your way across Sid's desk, but look out for Sid. Okay, are we gonna do, oh, 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 right. Oh yeah, I remember Sid's got like spiders and other gross things, right? Nothing gross about spiders, but you, you can tell this kid is messed up. Which seems a little unfair. I'm sure he's just misjudged. Oh no, dart on my head out of nowhere. And that's the end of Woody. So far, nothing too psychopathic here. He's got books on DIY, so he's well read. Clearly, mature individual that can uh, handle having mature posters. He knows to put up danger signs, because there's a lot of danger going on in his room. Raising a pet spider is surely going to teach you a thing or two about raising life. This is not going well. Once again, this whole level is just made miserable by the fact that everything is so zoomed in. If we could see... We would actually need to see twice as much on the sides than we can now. This is just bad. Ugh. Playing this god-awful game is kind of putting me in the mood for playing an actual good game after this. Don't know what I'd play, though. Do I have any real comfort food games that I can stream once this is done? And then again, I've got The Witcher to come after- Ah! Oh. <laughs> you know, I like platformers. Not only that, I'm really, really good at platformers. So to play a game that is, well, it's an action platformer, but a platformer nonetheless. To play a game like this is just so terrible, just feels doubly painful. You can do it, Woody. You gotta make the jump to the end. No, he can't. Well, not for today, but regarding comfort games, Jake, Graveyard Simulator 2 is getting another DLC tomorrow. The fun is just starting. 
The problem is that DLC only has giant ships in it, and I'm actually... I don't want to play more giant ships in Ship Simulator. I want some more of those small ones, like the ones you do for 10 to 15 Bangladeshi dollars. Because those, those big ships are tiring. Well, you know it yourself. Then again, despite saying you wouldn't go back to the game, you have since gone back to the game, Marvin. When can we ever trust a word out of his mouth? Just like when he says he's not going to stream, and then he comes back to stream more Nancy Drew. But that's okay. Every time Marvin is not true to his own word, it's to our embetterment. Marvin is the only person around here that has a mod sword that he didn't get from doing a mod challenge, because Marvin is an original mod. From long, long ago. The exception that proves the rule. This puts me not too far out of mind of playing Virtual Bart, one of the worst games I've ever played. There's a particular set of levels in Virtual Bart where you control, well, the titular Bart Simpson, but it's Baby Bart. And Baby Bart is... what does he do? He's dangling from trees, he's jumping around... He then enters some kind of weird race with Baby Jimbo and... I don't think Nelson is there, but he, the, the bully kids from The Simpsons. Let me think, there's Jimbo Jones, there's some skinhead, and there's Nelson Muntz. So it's the, it's the two that aren't Nelson and, uh, yeah, not, ne not Nelson. Anyway, Virtual Bart is one of the worst games I've ever played, and I've played a lot of bad games. And this is adding to that list. <laughs> oh, I'm controlling him. Okay. Is that going to happen again? Well, there's our answer. I played this back when it came out, says Widge again. Oh, man, I feel for you. That's such a stupid sound. Just play the ow sound effect again and again. We don't want to pay for another, uh... Don't want to pay for another voiceover. At least the strings don't hurt you. Normally in a game like this you'd expect the strings dangling the... Uh, the hurty thing to hurt you as well. That was the case in, say, Mega Man 2. Is Sid not in the slightest bit concerned that Woody is actually moving from where he set fire to him. Oh, God. Yeah, me too, Woody. Me too. Yes, yeehaw, but this time we actually have a password. Thirty-four, thirty-four, thirty-five. You're right, Aether. Only thirteen minutes to go until I have to play another punishment game before reflecting on the fact that I have earned yet another punishment game. Yeah, this is always a concern. The, uh, the punishment game economy. It's just punishment games all the way down. Sid's got a massive desk, by the way. Guess he does a lot of studying. He does have all those books on DIY. 
Are Sid and Andy meant to be the same age? Because, you know, while Sid is learning all of these marketable tools, books on heavy rock and DIY, see? Interests! Whilst what's Andy doing is playing with his little Bo Peep doll. This game's more set in California than I thought. The animation of those little spiky things is actually quite nice. Actually puts me in mind of Donkey Kong Country level animation. I always thought the animations are, oh, on Donkey Kong were pretty good. I have to think of my next punishment game to nominate any suggestions on a lobby to join, says Blobber. Oh, come now. Punishment games are so much better when they have a bit of a personal touch behind them. People that get behind the flavor of the month punishment game just disgust me. I want a game that you've played. A game that's made you miserable. And the obvious thing to do to aid your healing is to share that misery with the rest of the world. Bandwagoners deserve and shall receive none of my respect. That said, I can't deny anyone's punishment game unless I have a really good reason to do so. Which is usually either... Uh, I've already done this, or it doesn't run. I think Way of the Samurai was the game that I just could not get to run, so that one got chucked away. Way of the Samurai 4, even? Which is a shame, because I even remember being able to run that game, but I don't think it plays well on modern systems. Yeehaw, indeed. Ooh, there is a life up to be had down there. Uh. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't try. This game is so full of gotcha moments. Oh, daring to make progress on these blind jumps? Well, how foolish of you. Here's a dart in your head. Ah. Oh. The fact that Zedler's 2 does not have an open source re-implementation continues to sadden me. Come, Ninja, we know you have the wherewithal to make it a reality. Ow. Do those kids at Tokyo, you really deserve a good education? Perhaps the best education you can offer them is long-ended spiels about your attempt to do open source re-implementation of old... Oh my god, this jump. Ah! Well, I gotta hand it to you, Blobber Abyss. Didn't expect that a Super Nintendo game could really be this punishing. I mean, I, I know some awful Super Nintendo games. Obviously, there's Virtual Bart, as we were talking, but I also played some horrors like Draken and Krusty's Super Fun House. But I was hard-pressed to imagine a platformer game being this horrific. Fortunately, I have modern solutions to age-old problems. Hang on, I haven't even been set on fire yet. Oh, boy. There was never anything in the rules against cheating, 50 Ford. Hot, 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 hot,
why is that making a shattering sound and effect? Are we putting our fire out in a cup of coins? Yeah, plus, the game needs to be really good to garner the attention to get itself an open source re-implementation. Settlers 2 doesn't hold a candle to the likes of Transport Tycoon. Or Roller Coaster Tycoon. This is just mad. You've got no choice but to inch forward because these things just blindside you. In fact, did that one even go up enough? How close are we to the end of this? I am marginally tempted to finish this game, no matter how horrible it gets. It's not often that I go out of my way to do that for a game. You yeah, were six minutes out. Yeah, thanks, young. Couldn't count that. I'm trying to remember how the the film goes. I think when they escape from here. They actually grab one of Sid's dynamite things and light it, and it's like, oh wait, I forgot, dynamite explodes! But they use that to blast their way over to the, the moving truck. Hey, you're making this as a developer, what's going through your head? Oh yeah, we have this segment where the character just has to keep running. And we could put these things in their way so that as they run, they smack into them and take damage, and then they have to restart. Maybe maybe some junior comes in and says, but how are they meant to know that it's coming? How, how are they meant to react to this? It's like, they don't. They just die. That's the fun. <sighs> when Sid is called downstairs, it gives Woody a chance to look around. Hmm, what could have happened to him? Something is watching him closely. Is it you know, dream sequence buzz again? No, it's Battle of the Mutant Toys. Oh, God, right, yeah. Scud. Ow. Okay, I'm not so sure I'm tempted to beat this game anymore. <laughs> yeah, Woody, I know. All right, we've only got three minutes left. Is there a password to just the end of this game? There's a password to Sid's workbench. Level skip appears to only work on Genesis. All I'm getting is Genesis stuff here. There's a light my fire password. Alright, let's give that a go, shall we? 151423. Seems I'm not the only one with that idea. It's coming in from Red2. Maybe it's that? What is that? Guy okay, melted to a little skateboard. What did we just say? 151 423. Yeah, I think dictating this would be a waste of everyone's time. 23. Toys save Buzz by showing Sid they're really alive. Scares Sid so bad he vows to never hurt to- uh, that's how it works. Grabbing a hold of strap, hanging off the back of the fast moving truck. And now for the climactic finish of the film. I wonder if those scenes are actually taken from the film. Keep on racing- oh this better not be the same thing we had before. No!
How are you meant to react to anything here? I might have old man reactions these days on account of being an old man. But childhood Jake wouldn't have fared any better. Especially when your car handles like ass. How much time do you even have to react to something? Something appears and you've hit it in maybe about one quarter of a second? Drive slower, Jay. I must have missed the accelerating speed button. <laughs> this is how it went in the movies. No good. RC isn't fast enough to keep up with the truck. We need to go even quicker. Rocket Man. This is it. The truck's in sight. Andy's mum's car is just in front. Reach the car. You're no longer lost toys. Good luck. Let's imagine we're on the last life rule for a weekly... You know, a two hours of hell, even. Here it comes. To infinity and beyond. Let's do it. Hey, we're pilot wings now. Ow. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ow. Ow. <laughs> what is the counterplay to that? Oh, okay. Well, good thing it wasn't last life moment. To infinity and beyond. Can I scrape against the floor here for an easier time? No. Here it comes. To infinity and beyond. Okay, so if there's something very impressive about this game that I can point out, and that's the fact that it's using voice acting on the Super comes. Nintendo, which was comes. not an easy task. It doesn't even sound that compressed. Watch out. Compare it to, say, the voice acting that did exist in Star Fox. Watch out. Watch out! Here it comes! Could you stop yelling like that whilst grabbing Woody the way you're doing there, Buzz? Watch out! Ow! Here it comes! We are meant to go up and over. Yeah, yeah, because in the movie he drops down into the box next to Andy, not in the back. We're not aiming for the truck. Here it comes. Uh um Go. <laughs> And beyond. It starts from the Lion King is burned into your brain. Everything the light Here touches is our kingdom. Ow. Watch out. Yeah, maybe the primacy of the lions and the Lion King did need to be challenged. Those Ow. poor hyenas having to live in comes. filth. Watch Scar out. ostracized. And didn't didn't little cub guy in the Lion King have to marry his sister? Watch out. I mean, I've played enough RimWorld to know that incest has no ill effect between animals, but come on, maybe he didn't want that. Here it comes. What was her name? Nadia. That could be a complete fabrication. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. All right, so we're not aiming for the truck, but the truck is aiming for comes. us, so I think I just need to scrape the ground here. Watch out. Woody has no face left now. Uh, 
Come on. Here it comes. Watch out. Yeah. <laughs> dance, Woody, dance. Woody, Buzz, they were right in this box. He gives his favorite toys a hug. That night, after all the toys were unpacked, Woody and Buzz told them all about their big adventure. From that day on, Woody and Buzz were the best of friends. Was that really the case in Toy Story 2? And was there a third one? Well done, you have completed. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for playing. Aw, oh, they're thanking me. Not enough games to do that. Credits. Disney. Well, Chris Stanforth and Traveller Tales, I'm sure you tried very hard. Wait, Burton? Ingram? Say it ain't so. Well, there we go. It's not often that we beat our punishment games, but we did it. Toy Story is vanquished. Ugh. And it was miserable. Absolutely miserable. This was horrible to play, and it was very difficult. Not for the right reasons. If this game was in any way capably made, I would have destroyed this game. But no, it was full of blindsiding, very zoomed-in platforming, utter horseradish for hitboxes. Kinda wish we could have done this level. This must have been the escape from Sid's house. Well, maybe I don't wish for that. You know what, you can enjoy watching these little demo plays. I am going to grab some water and set up for Witcher. We'll have that going in just a few minutes.